You may have seen this sort of thing on Etsy or Creative Fabrica. Here's a Lion Vector, $1.37, and it's eight views in the last 24 hours. Pretty popular item. Here's a similar one. This is a Lion Vector, seven views in the last 24 hours. So Etsy has a lot of vectors for sale. They're pretty popular with people all over the world. Here on Creative Fabrica, you can also sell vectors. This is a lion's head. You can see 16 people have added it to favorites so far. Now you may be wondering, how do I create vectors like this? And the answer is sitting inside of chat GPT. So what I'm going to do here is simply type into the chat window what I would like chat GPT to do. Create a clean vector of a lion's head roaring full color and I'll click go. All right, so we can see here we've got the lion design. Now it's not an SVG file, even though I asked it to create a clean vector, it's not really a vector file. When I click this download button, it'll be a PNG file. And you'll also notice it has a background on here as well. So in order to make this a clean vector, I need to use one other step involving Inkscape. Now I'm going to import this image into Inkscape and it looks pretty great. Now, if you've never heard of Inkscape before, you can check it out at inkscape.org. It's a completely free, vector software tool. And I created this in color, but I could have created it in black and white. So using the color palettes now, I'm gonna go path, trace bitmap, and then over on the right, I can click update preview and you'll see it's a black preview. So you can make this lighter or darker depending on your preferences. You can see there it's getting lighter and lighter still. So now I'll click apply and I've got a good looking clean vector that I can use. Now I can clean up little pieces of the vector by simply editing the paths by node and then going in and removing vector nodes. So that's one option to create a clean vector. You can also make a true color vector using the same process. So here I've got the image selected. I'll go path trace bitmap. And then over on the right hand side, I'm gonna pick multicolor and then colors. From here, I'm gonna have an option to have the number of scans and that corresponds to the number of colors. So here I'm gonna guess I've got about eight colors. I'm gonna click update preview and I can see that's pretty close. If I go too few colors and I click update preview, you'll see it gets progressively more simple. And if I do too many colors, you'll have so many layers that it might become unwieldy. So you have to take a guess here at how many colors you would like and you can always play around with it. I'm gonna go with eight and now I'm gonna click apply and it's gonna run eight times and give me a great looking vector. Now I can see the vector has some stippling on it, so I probably picked too many scans. So I'm gonna click this again and just delete it out. I'm gonna to go to the original one, go down to five, click update preview, and I can see it's a little bit simpler now. I'll click apply, and we can see now I've got a vector that I can work with. It's not gonna be perfect, I may have to edit it, so I may have to zoom in and edit out these points. You can remove the colors one at a time if you so choose. Here I've double clicked on the yellow, I could remove that. And I can double click on the brown and I can remove that. So you could get down to the basics here with black if you so choose. You're just adding in different layers. I prefer doing black and white vectors. They're pretty clean, but you can do color as well. It totally depends on the source image. Quick bonus tip as well. You can always ask ChatGPT to create a black and white vector. So here, for example, I've said create a clean black and white vector of a lion jumping. And we can see this is a pretty decent result. Now it won't be a vector. It'll look like a vector though, and that's what we want. So you'll still have to trace the bitmap and change it into an SVG file, but that's pretty easy to do. I hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. I like using ChatGPT. I love using Inkscape. Here's another video. I know you can have some fun for free in the world of graphic design.